So what's up guys? Yeah, recently um, I posted a video on uh, Facebook uh, DJI 03 FPV group um, about my uh, mods for the DJI Goggles Integra and the mod for the DJI Goggles 2 battery. And yeah, the post got a lot of attention and a lot of people were confused about what I did and uh, why uh, I modded the batteries or the goggles. And yeah, I promised to make a short video about uh, the mods and uh, yeah to explain what I did and uh, why I did what I uh, did to the goggles and the batteries because yeah on the left side we have the DJI uh, goggles Integra uh, really nice uh, goggles um, first thing that really bugged me about the Integras was the integrated battery uh, on the head strap at first it was like this they were attached um, yeah to the head strap and the goggles are so small and lightweight it's really cool uh, to have them uh, yeah to wear them on the head and don't feel the weight of the uh, original DJI FPV goggles but um, the battery weight destroys this experience at least for me it's very handy to have the battery integrated but yeah it feels heavy on the head and so uh, I wanted to make uh, a mod for the battery and the first thing that I did was uh, open up this battery pack here. Um, there are four screws and then you can pop the cover, pop it up. You can see that there is the circuit board here for the battery management and there are four wires coming from it. I'm gonna focus here. The red black green and yellow wire yeah so you have four wires so that's why you need a cable extension cable with four uh, poles four wires in it and yeah then I just <coughs> drill the hole to the back cover here you could also run it to this big hole here on the side I guess <laughs> yeah and then just close it back up snaps in and solder the cable to the four cables and you're done. Um, so yeah you have to search a wire that has four poles and I found this one. It's actually an extension wire for LED uh, for LEDs and yeah it's perfect because yeah four poles and it's really nice and flexible about one meter long. You can find it on eBay for five bucks it's black so looks cool too and yeah then just make an adapter it's not that nice at the moment but I will make it a little bit cleaner once I figured everything out and yeah then that's for the battery side so um, the head strap sets this retching mechanism in here as you can see that's not in use anymore Instead, I just bought an, a head strap for the DJI Goggles 2. And yeah, then came the fun part. <laughs> you have these adapters here, which are screwed into the goggles. You can easily uh, remove them with these two screws. And then there are, uh, there are two more screws here and here. So four screws to remove the adapter. And yeah, DJI actually glued the original head strap to this adapter, which was a pain in the ass to remove. <laughs> but yeah, I took a drill and just drilled the heck out of it. And yeah, the adapter is made from really good plastic, so you don't have to fear breaking it. Um, so uh, yeah, I just removed the glue with the drill bit and then afterwards just uh, slip this thing in and then uh, yeah, put a screw you can see it right now, but the adapter actually has room to drill a hole and then I drilled a, a screw from the side into the adapter which holds the strap in perfectly fine and yeah, it looks like factory, I would say. <laughs> I'm really happy with this. Yeah, DJI Goggles 2 strap is very cool and so now you have the battery which is really heavy and the goggles Integra separated from each other. And now to the goggle part, yeah. Um, this is 
a little bit trickier because here you have the adapter and the cable um, for the battery management is actually running through the original head strap through the mesh all the way to the back here so I had to cut it and um, then I just drilled a hole into this well, no I there actually is a hole for the screw here on the bottom and what I did was just because there are four screws holding the adapter and I thought three is enough so I just took a big drill and drilled out the hole for the for the screw here a little bit wider and then just yeah wriggled uh, four cables coming from here through the hole and made an adapter it's still yeah pretty ugly but I will make a different adapter with this cable here uh, where is it so yeah I have another LED extension cable and as you can see here here are, you have the four poles so this will actually be coming from the goggles once I finish the mod this will be coming through here from the goggles and then you can put, just plug it in I will make a securing mechanism and mechanism to hold the adapter in place once once you connected the LED extension cable and yeah looks will look pretty cool I'd say and yeah so this way I will keep the goggles Integra as my uh, backup goggles because they are really nice and the function is great um, but the field of view is a little bit small so I bought the goggles too yeah I modified everything <laughs> to make them fit on my face but now it is a really nice fit and the field of view is great very comparable to the DJI FPV uh, V1 and V2 goggles really cool you have this touch screen with a little bit which is a little bit annoying but yeah otherwise really cool goggles and you have the adjustment knobs here um, yeah for IPD and focus really cool but there's one flaw about the battery management system on this goggle as well <laughs> because it comes with this battery here uh, which is I don't know exact capacity but I would guess like 4000 milliamp or 4500 and yeah they say it lasts for uh, about two hours and on a long shooting day I'm doing a lot of commercial work with my FPV drones on a long shooting day uh, there's no chance that, chance that this battery is gonna last um, so what I did was I opened it up <laughs> I had to use some really brutal force to get it up and uh, afterwards I saw that there's a sticker on the back which you can lift up and underneath there are some screws um, that can be unscrewed and then yeah I guess it would be easier to open up the cover but still there's a lot of glue inside so yeah it's not not all that easy <laughs> but I got it done in the end and this is a battery and if you open it up you will see that there's oh it's pretty hard because I already so that the cables to it but you yeah now you see it <clears throat> it even says ground here and the plus pole is here just solder the two cables to it mm, focus yeah and then drill two holes into the cover solder an XT30 or whatever you like and now yeah <clears throat> just close it up mine is pretty destroyed because I uh, didn't know at the time I was opening it that there are screws underneath the sticker here <laughs> yeah it would be much easier and much cleaner much cleaner to open it this way but yeah I just will wrap it with some carbon fiber as I said and then I would it will look fine again yeah that's about it for the mods now I can just plug this in strap them together and have an almost 10,000 milliampere <laughs> battery for the goggles too which is really cool you can uh, I'm doing a lot of commercial work and work and yeah sometimes you have to shoot the whole day and uh, there's no chance that this battery would last long enough uh, for a whole day but and this and you can even uh, search for a bigger 
uh, battery to connect to it and you can still use the voltage checker here yeah really nice um, I will probably wrap this these two batteries together in carbon and uh, make it look nice uh, in the next days but yeah works for now works pretty good and yeah the problem is you can only run the goggles 2 uh, on 2s uh, voltage and so yeah 2s lithium ion batteries are preferred because they have a lot of capacity uh, for the uh, form factor and weight and yeah this is the perfect mod for me so, so this is it for now for the mods if you have any questions feel free i am pretty happy with the goggles 2 and the integras as my backup uh, goggles because yeah goggles can always fail something is wrong with the batteries or something and now i have to complete different uh, battery management systems so if this, this doesn't work or this is my primary setup if this doesn't work and the goggles fail i still have this option <laughs> So I can always be sure that I can uh, yeah, finish the job and that's what, what is important for me. Yeah, so that's about it. I will take this story, uh, which will be very long, I guess, as a highlight story or maybe upload it to YouTube. I don't know for now. And yeah, that's it. Take care. Happy flying. Bye bye.